Hey guys, in a, a twist of fate, the Labour Party presidential campaign council has raised a, a chorus of protests over the recent Supreme Court ruling that dismissed their petitions seeking the nullification of Bola Tinobu's presidential victory in the February election. The council spokesman, Yunasar Tako, expressed profound disappointment, alleging that their candidate Peter will be presented a compelling case that was inexplicable ignored by the courts. Hey guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. The Labour Party Presidential Campaign Council has raised a chorus of protest over the recent Supreme Court ruling that dismissed their petitions, seeking the nullification of Bola Tinobu's presidential victory in the February election. The council spokesperson, Yunasa Tako, expressed their profound disappointment, alleging that their candidate, Peter, will be presented a compelling case that was inexplicable ignored by the courts. This decision has ignited a fair debate in the political landscape, leaving many to question the credibility of the leadership now in power. The Supreme Court decision sent shock waves through the nation as it marked the end of a protracted legal battle that had captured the attention of the entire country. The petitioners, including Peter Obi and his People's Democratic Party counterpart, Atiku Abubakar, had hoped for a different outcome. The court's verdict, however, upheld the election of President Bola Tinubu, leaving the opposition camp disheartened and contemplating their next move. Yunasa Tako, the voice of the campaign council, did not miss ways in his reaction. He has attained. As far as we are concerned, we have brought out our cases beyond reasonable doubt. But the court chose to look at the other side and turn a deaf ear to our plea. And they have taken their decision. This assumption raises a fundamental question about the judiciary's role in safeguarding the integrity of the electoral process. Are the courts fulfilling their duty to ensure a transparent and just electoral system? Or are there other forces at play? Tako's call for recourse to the masses uh, court, as he put it, reflects a deep-seated frustration with the current state of affairs. The masses court symbolizes the court of public opinion where ordinary citizens have the power to shape the narrative and influence political change. It is a reminder that in a democracy, the voice of the people is paramount, and their perception of justice ultimately demands the course of a nation's political journey. The Labour Party's is insistence on Tinubu's disqualification had another layer to the controversy. They have raised concerns about his legibility to run for election, a matter that requires serious consideration. The interpretation of the 25% qualification of the Federal Capital Territory and the address to the Electoral Act are crucial issues that demanded screening. The fact that these concerns were allegedly disregarded, disregarded by the court raises questions about the border implications for electoral transparency and accountability. The fate of Peter Obi, the Labour Party's presidential candidate, remains uncertain in the wake of this ruling. The silence from Obi's camp on his political future leaves room for speculation. Will he continue to fight for the cause he believes in? Or will he chart a different course? The answer to the question may have far-reaching consequences. 
for the opposition and political landscape in Nigeria. As the, the dust begins to settle, the nation stands at a crossroad. The Supreme Court decision has sparked a nationwide conversation on the state of democracy in Nigeria. It is a moment for reflection, for evaluating the effectiveness of our electoral system, and for contemplating the role of the judiciary in preserving the, the sanity of the democratic process. The court's verdict has left a lingering sense of unease, and it is a call to action for all citizens who value the principles of justice, transparency, and accountability. In conclusion, the recent Supreme Court Supreme Court's ruling has sent shock waves through Nigerians' political landscape. The Labour Party's presidential campaign council and its candidates, Peter Obi, find themselves at a crossroad, raising important questions about the judiciary's role in safeguarding the electoral process, the call for recourse to the masses. The courts underscores the power of public opinion in shaping the nation's political future. The issues raised by the Labour Party, including Tinobu's eligibility and hindrance to electoral laws, deserve a closer look and deserve a closer look to ensure the integrity of the electoral system. As the nation awaits Peter B's decision on its political future, one thing is clear. This ruling has reignited a national conversation about democracy in Nigeria. So guys, what are your thoughts on this recent development? Do you believe the Supreme Court decision was fair? Or do you have concerns about the electoral process? Please kindly share your opinions below the comment section. Share and like. Subscribe if you have not. Thank you for stopping by. May God bless you all. Amen.